A spectacle of science is taking place right now, and maybe in your own yard if you have a maple tree. The silver maple has large flat seeds that mature in late April. Probably everyone has at some time noticed these whirly birds falling on windy days. But how they fly is the fascinating part. Maple seeds are technically samaras, which are winged seeds that disperse to new growing locations by flight. A papery, fibrous wing grows from the ovary wall as the fruit develops. Its center of mass is at one end, while its center of lift is in the middle. When green and immature, it falls straight down. But when dry and ready to germinate, it becomes a perfect natural helicopter. Then it falls in a spinning manner and the single wing goes to work. Rotation causes tiny air vortexes, which are like miniature tornadoes, to form above the wing's leading edge. This lowers air pressure above the wing, sucking the pod upward and creating lift. The natural wing of a maple seed is actually more efficient than standard aircraft wings or helicopter blades. The seed spins rapidly as it falls, but carried on wind, it can land quite some distance from its parent tree. That is a much more efficient dispersal mechanism than, say, an apple, which drops straight to earth and tries to grow new trees directly under its parent. Maple seeds have only a few days to take root. If they land on moist, bare soil, they sprout immediately and begin the long and perilous track toward making a tree. Most don't survive, but given the staggering number of seeds produced by a single maple tree, some will always be present to make the next generation of shade. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.